and welcome to Speedy Reads from Faster Ideas. My name is Joa Oates and over the next few weeks we're going to be reviewing great books that have inspired me um, which will be fantastic presents for creative people and creative people in your life um, as we're running up to Christmas and today's book is A Time to Think by Nancy Klein. Um, listening to ignite the human mind. Now, okay, traditionally, this is not really a creative book, um, but it does encourage and help you to think about something that is so important to creativity, which is listening. Now, I know it's called Time to Think, but it really, really should be called Time to Listen. I think it's really important to realise how little we actually listen to each other in modern life. Um, if you're someone who thinks they get interrupted a lot or you've often, you've been told, and I certainly have, that I interrupt people, um, it's a really good book to understand how important it is to listen in all, all aspects of your life. I personally found this book really had a really, really huge impact on me um, in terms of my creative thinking. And the fact that observation is just so, such a key part of the pro creative process in terms of taking the world in um, around you and, and how we communicate is part of that and how we listen. Um, you know, and the thing is, we live in a society where everyone's very look at me and sort of shouting and look at me, look at me. But you know, when you're having a conversation and someone says at the end, uh, they look like they're going to go and say something and then they go, oh, no, it's fine. Don't worry. Well, it's likely there was something really, really important in that um, in that bit, in that thing, in that section of the conversation. It's like those meetings that you have where what really happens is the meeting after the meeting where someone's walking away from the meeting and they pull you aside and go, oh, there's just one thing I want to say. So that's because they didn't get the chance or feel they had the platform to say it in the meeting. Um, so many people think that they listen to the other person when they're speaking but quite often we've got we're all up in our heads and we've got other things going on and we're quite often thinking about what we're going to say next and what this book really does is help you break down conversations and think about um what's actually happening um and you know helping you to pay attention um pay attention paying attention is so key for creativity of course um observations aren't just visual um, you know the the idea of paying attention is really important particularly when you're collaborating with people because you know if you listen to someone and what they're saying properly and really really give them the attention they deserve the idea that you're both trying to seek out actually might be in what they're trying to say but if you're all up in your own ideas and your own thought processes you uh, you might not hear it Nancy Klein talks about thinking environments, but I, I think at the same time she's talking about creative environments and how much, you know, during lockdown in 2020, we've seen people struggle in terms of like uh, things like brainstorms and uh, creative collaboration. And if you work in a creative team, if there's one or two of you or even more, you know, trying to do that collaboration on Zoom is hard but it's not impossible. And there, I think there's some really, really key learnings in here about how to make it possible. Um, there's some really great ideas about, um, you know, the way you do a brainstorm in that, you know, you don't just put like a piece of paper up and said, right, who's got any ideas? You actually go round the table and everybody has to say something. And yes, that might be quite frightening for some of the quiet ones in the room, but it does mean everyone gets equitable time to have ideas and you just keep going and going and going until someone until you sort of stop like but that means that everybody's had the chance to express themselves and because of that because everyone has to listen to what everybody else is saying other ideas might come about that wouldn't have happened if you just threw up a piece of paper and said who's got any ideas so there's lots of things in there about how to create the best thinking environment, environments with really creative thinking and important thinking and important work goes on. And I think if you worked for a company that had all these things in place, is like thinking environments, helping creativity thrive, um, that would be a company you'd want to work for in 2021. So I think this is a really great book to um, for anyone who's like thinking about their career, thinking about the company they work in, thinking about how to, where they want to work next. Um, just, it's not just about business though. I, I would say there's lots of stuff in here about just conversations generally, including how to have better conversations in your relationships 
um, and not just the business ones, the personal ones too. Um, it talks about uh, this idea of incisive questions, which we looked at on fasterideas.com a few weeks ago. And um, it's, a, you know, that really great idea about kind of really the fact that, you know, quite often when we're trying to solve a problem, it's not because we don't have the answer, it's because we're not asking ourselves the right questions and because we're just falling into the same patterns we always do with the questions. Um, there's two sections to the book. The first section is all about sort of the theory and all that sort of stuff. And then the second half is a lot of examples, which, you know, I know some people might avoid that once they found out like the how, but I do think that once you read how it's put into practice with the case studies, it's really super, super inspiring. Um, it's great for anyone in a leadership position. Um, if you're having issues with family members, it's lots of stuff in there about how to work through those problems. Um, businesses, large, small, um, I also think as we go into next year and, you know, we're all thinking about um, in 2021 how our work environment is going to change, working out how we can have better conversations is, is going to be so key, even if those conversations are going to be virtual. So Nancy Klein's A Time to Think, you can buy this on our bookshelf, links below, um, and you can go and check that out where you'll find um, links to buy all of our books that we're reviewing running up to Christmas. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get all the reviews popping into your YouTube feed whenever we get them live. And also you can subscribe to us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn um, where you also get the uh, reviews coming up and all our other posts that we've got running up to Christmas. Um, and also don't forget to subscribe at fasterideas.com for our newsletter which will be popping into your inbox sometime in January. Um, that's all for today. I'll see you next time.